today we are going to solve problems involving limiting reagents. The first thing to do is define limiting reagent. If there are more than one reactants in a chemical reaction, the reagent that is completely used up is called the limiting reagent. The second reagent could be the excess reagent or it could even be present in stoichiometric quantities. In the problem that we are going to solve today, we have a limiting reagent so that we can learn how to determine the reagent that limits the amount of products that is formed. Here is a problem. How many grams of water will be formed if 14 grams of methane undergoes complete combustion with 14 grams of oxygen? So here is a combustion reaction between methane and oxygen. And we want to determine how many grams of water will be formed if equal masses of both reactants are taken. Here is a solution. The first thing to do in any problem which involves chemical quantities expressed in grams or moles is to write a balanced equation. So the assumption here is that you know to balanced equations and then we can proceed from that point forward. If you're not sure of how to balance equations, please watch my videos on how to balance equations, then come back and solve the problem in limiting reactants. Since the reaction is between methane and oxygen, we find that one mole of methane reacts with two moles of oxygen to produce one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water. The next thing to do is to write the mole ratio beneath the reactants and products just as a method for solving the problem. So what I've done is beneath methane CH4 I put one mole beneath oxygen two moles between beneath carbon dioxide one mole and beneath water two moles. The next thing that I'm going to do is convert the mole to mass. Now we know we have one mole of methane, therefore the molar mass of methane is 16.04, which you can calculate. And two moles of oxygen would be two times the molar mass of oxygen, which is two times 31.99. And the mass of carbon dioxide is 44 grams. Since it is one mole, it is the molar mass. And the mass of water that is formed is two times 18.02 grams. Now, if you ask me how did I get these numbers, we can also go back to the equation relating moles, mass, and molar mass. This is the equation that you should be familiar with. N is equals to M, that is small m, over capital M, which is a molar mass. Here, N represents the moles, M the mass of the solute, and M the molar mass. When you rearrange the equation, you have M is equal to n times m. So I have used this equation to calculate the mass ratio and when those numbers are multiplied these are the complete values that I get. So two moles of oxygen would be 63.98, one mole of methane would be 16.04, one mole of carbon dioxide is 44 grams and two moles of water would be 36.02 grams. Now, what does this number mean to you? What it actually tells you is that 16.04 grams of methane will require 63.98 grams of oxygen to undergo complete combustion and it will produce 44 grams of carbon dioxide and 36.02 grams of water. If you add the masses on the left, and the masses on the right, they will be the same because they follow the law of conservation of mass. Now, what we need to do is determine the limiting reagent. In order to do that, we know that 16 grams of methane requires about almost 64 grams of oxygen, almost four times its quantity in mass. 
Let's see how many grams of reactants and products are given to us. In the problem that we have seen, or in the problem that is given to us, we are given 14 grams of methane and 14 grams of oxygen. The masses are equal. And if you look at the mass ratio, which is highlighted in green, you find they are not the same, which implies that either all of methane will not react or all of oxygen will not react. So we need to know which reactant will be completely used up and that reactant is called the limiting reactant. Now from the numbers that you see in the mass ratio you can make an educated guess. Since the amount of oxygen required is four times you can very safely say that 14 grams of oxygen will completely react. But will all of the methane react? We don't know and we can calculate that. In order to do that, we need to establish a relationship so that we can find out exactly how many grams of methane will react with oxygen. So to find the limiting reactant, we are going to look at the number of grams of oxygen that we have and calculate the number of, mol number of grams of methane that will be required. So this is the two reactants that we are going to compare and we are going to calculate the mass of methane by making a simple ratio. In order to make the ratio, we are going to use the mass ratio of the reactants first. That will be made the denominator in the ratio and the numerator is going to be the given masses. Look at how I write that equation. So every time you are going to determine the limiting reagent, you have to make a ratio like this. In the denominator, you have the mass of oxygen, which is 63.98 gram, and that has been taken from the highlighted mass ratio value. And in the numerator, you have 14 grams, which is the mass of oxygen that is given in the problem. On the right side, I have taken methane, and in the denominator, I have taken the mass of methane from the mass ratio. And in the numerator, I am going to calculate how many grams of methane will react with oxygen. I have assigned it a value of x, and I have to solve for x. Solving for x, when you re rearrange the ratio and proportion that is given here, you will find that the value of x is 3.51 grams of methane. So what it tells you is that if 14 grams of oxygen is taken, it can only react with 3.51 grams of methane. There is no more oxygen left. Therefore, oxygen is the limiting reagent and methane would be the excess reagent. If you subtract 3.51 grams from 14, you can calculate the mass of methane that is unreacted. So we have shown by calculation that oxygen is the limiting reagent. Now it is not required that you should start with oxygen. You can also start with methane. You can do the same calculation and determine how many grams of oxygen will be required for reacting with 14 grams of methane. Let's look at that. If you want to compare between methane and oxygen. This is a fraction that you will get or the ratio. Here I am taking the amount of oxygen that will require that we require for complete reaction with 14 grams of methane as y. And I'm going to solve for y. When I solve for y from this ratio and proportion, notice that in the denominators I have used the mass ratios from the balanced equation. In the numerator, I have used the mass that is given to us, and I am trying to find out how many grams of oxygen is needed. Solving for y, I get y is equal to 55.84 grams. What it tells you is that if 14 grams of methane has to react completely, you will need 55.84 grams of oxygen, which you don't have. Therefore, methane is the excess reagent. So now we have determined the limiting reagent and you will have to write a statement in your problem that would be 14 grams of oxygen will react with 3.5 grams of methane therefore 
oxygen is a limiting reagent. Once you have the limiting reagent, then you can proceed to determine the mass of water that is produced by the reaction between 14 grams of oxygen and 3.51 grams of methane. So I'm going to use the same format in the next slide. The equation is the same, the mole ratio is the same, the mass ratio is the same. I've calculated the value here is exactly the same as in the previous case, but the given data, I have made a small change. If you notice that, I've changed the mass of methane from 14 to 3.51 gram because we calculated the mass of methane that would completely react with 14 grams of oxygen. So the amount of reactant that I need in terms of oxygen and methane would be 14 grams and 3.51 grams. Now I have to determine how many grams of water will be formed by the combustion of either 14 grams of oxygen or 3.51 grams of methane. So I have to establish a ratio between oxygen and water. I'm going to select oxygen and water to make the ratio because oxygen is the limiting reagent. But even if I choose methane, still I would get the same answer. So I'm going to make a ratio between oxygen and water. Notice that in the ratios and the denominators, I have used the mass ratio, which is highlighted in green, 63.98 grams of oxygen and 14 grams of oxygen that is given to you is being, is undergoing combustion. On the product side, I have 36.02 grams of water being formed according to the balanced equation. So I want to know how many grams of water would actually form if 14 grams of oxygen undergo combustion. And for that, I'm going to solve for Y. That's what I'm going to do. Rearranging and solving for Y, I will get 7.88 grams of water. What this means is 7.88 grams of water will be produced when 14 grams of oxygen reacts with 3.51 grams of methane. And if you have to express your answer in moles, you can convert 7.88 grams of water to moles and express your answer like that. But in the problem that is given for you, you only have to express the answer in grams. So your final answer is 7.88 grams of water will be formed if 14 grams of oxygen react with 3.5 grams of methane. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.